<laughs> um, I guess first October after he ended up in the hospital. He ended up in the hospital in October. He had he got C diff, and then right after Christmas he got admitted because um, they noticed his hemoglobin had dropped, and he ended up having hemolytic anemia. So first they started um, him on a steroid for that, and it's then spent a week in the hospital. Yeah, he spent a week in the hospital for that. Um, <laughs> then they started a steroid to try to help clear that up. Um, and that unfortunately didn't work, so they had to start another medication. And that one fully didn't take care of it. Um, but it was done through infusions, so he'd have to be in the hospital about all day to get those. Um, Once a week. I was going to say it was weekly, right? Okay. Mm. Um, so he had to get those weekly, and then that one didn't take care of it, so he had to get a third medication. Um, so from really December 29th up until the end of April, he was getting uh, weekly infusions. Um, and the last one helped um, and got it taken care of. So he's still going every week or every other week for um, lab draws to check on that and make sure everything's good. And he is still getting one infusion now, IVIG, to repair his immune system from those two medications that he had. He's lost a crap ton of weight now because uh, the steroids they had him on for those transfusions blew him up like a balloon. I mean, he was. He, he was gained fat. so much weight. He, he was so fat he couldn't really move. Yeah. He didn't like to move. He just liked to sit right there. He stopped. We were on the verge of getting him close to walking. And after he got on his steroid, he couldn't stand, walk, crawl. He would just like sit <laughs> there and sit play. There. I guess uh, the next step is um, he'll need hearing aids. Um, so we're working on getting him in to get those. Yeah, because of his condition, it affects his hearing. So he has to have hearing aids. Those ain't the cheapest things in the world. But the hurlers is, is a lifelong thing. Um, and just like, well, with the hearing aids, you know, it could be things pop up. A lot of hurlers babies have to have cornea transplants. Um, this lady that I know on Facebook, her granddaughter is six and she's on her third set of cornea transplants. So, and she, she has hurlers. Um, so, that, you know, that. Um, so it's, yeah, they just really keep a close eye on him. He did go through where um, his, his blood was separating. The blood, the red blood cells were separating. Yeah, so that was all. attacking the white blood cells. Yeah, yeah. that was all. He had a few graft versus host incidents where yeah. and that, his body was attacking the transplant cells, but they got that sorted out with more medications. And I guess that oh, was the other yeah. time we're in, because he, yeah, yeah, because yeah, the graft versus host can be a lot of different things. It can be like, um, like flakiness and almost like, uh, what's it when get like a, cradle cap, cradle. yeah, cradle. in their cradle. head, they can get rashes, ah. um, Skin's and that's really the dry. mild stuff of it, which is really what he had. Um, so he was on like creams for that, medications for that.
but the hurlers is, is it is and that you know and I don't know how long the grab versus hose if that's lifelong too or eventually yeah. eventually so you should you know settle in but settle in. it's it's amazing what they they look for for danger signs with him you know like the rashes and stuff um you know that's a sign that something's going on you know he's not eating his um you know they're that's why they do the blood work because he can change in just a matter of days yeah in and fact, when they, he got the hemolytic anemia like it was it was days so that we i think it was a monday or a tuesday we had went in and we were just there the week before that and but it had dropped his hemoglobin had dropped and then they had us come back because of that on a Thursday and then it had dropped again so they had us come back that Turned Friday. Yeah. <laughs> He's yellow. Yeah, because yeah, he was yeah. Tired of yeah. yeah. He's like honestly the happiest baby that I've ever been yeah. around. Not just because yes. he's mine, but he's he's happy, he goes with the flow. Other than it, he don't sleep that great, but <laughs> other than that, I mean, I feel like other than that, you wouldn't really know that there was anything, you know, wrong with him. But no, he's, yeah. And as you great. saw, he's finally took off walking. Yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty new development. Yeah. yeah. Just the support of the communities means a lot to us just because, I mean, going through what he did, I mean, no, money's not the only thing, but it takes a lot of money to yeah. take care of what he's been through and still going through and just the traveling and the rooms and stuff like that, it just, it adds up and the tractor ride donations really and all, I mean, helped out a lot. It helped us out a lot being able to pay for all that. Yeah. I don't know what they really seriously, <coughs> what would happen. I mean, they would just have to be in severe financial debt, you know, because the gas is ridiculous what it costs just to run that, yeah. you know, and get them to do. And most time they end up having to stay. So if Ronald McDonald has an opening, they can, but if not, they've got to pay for a motel and they've got to eat, you know, and, and so it's it be, with the support that they've gotten, they've been, they've, it's lightened the load a lot yeah. and let them concentrate on grace. Yeah. I'd honestly say just Ooh. prayers. Prayers so. that um, God will can continue to heal him and that he'll have minor things. Um, you know, come up in his life uh, related to this. You? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Prayer is the most important thing yeah. we can do. So just means a lot. <laughs> oh, look. Hey, good hug, Dad. I group hug. <laughs> Sweet boy. He likes group hugs. Yeah. <laughs>
Next, we are going next month to see her craniofacial team at Johns Hopkins um, to discuss the next major head surgery that it's called a frontal orbital advancement. Basically, from where her eyes, she has the um, protruding of her eyes and her, as you can see, sometimes one doesn't always focus. So she'll have that first and then eye surgery afterwards to try to help the muscles align with each other. Oh my goodness, yes, she's wide open. Right now she's super quiet, but normally, say I'm wide open, aren't you? They have physical therapy and occupational therapy, and I think speech too. So hopefully they'll be able to help keep her going. She already learned, she knows her ABCs. See, we can count to almost 20. Can't we? Can't we? Oh, you see Momo? The tractors? We're hanging in there. She actually, it's crazy, this past week, she fell um, playing on a bouncy house and we had to go to the ER. She, they're worried that she had, may have fractured her ankle, but you couldn't tell it today. But that didn't last long, that little makeshift splint on there, she took it off within a day, so. <laughs> But we're, we're hanging in there. Just thank you so much. You guys really don't know how much this means to us and how much it helps tremendously. And we're so grateful for it. I want to welcome everybody here to the 17th annual Floyd County Tractor Fun Run. Uh, I think you've seen some little bit of changes here on the farm. We've tried to help, you know, entryway and doing different things. Um, also, I want to personally thank my husband for all the work that he has done up here to get this farm ready. He's, he's done a lot. I couldn't have done it without him. Uh, also, uh, we are got the bean child again this year. We also have the link child. I've got their parents, both the children's parents and the children here. This is where your money is going, to medical charities of Floyd County to help these children with their medical expenses and everything. So. It's a good cause why you all have come out to support this ride. It, and I thank every last one of you for doing this. Um, can I have the beans and the links up here? Y'all can step down. This is Grayson Bean and his mom and dad. And there's Avery, little Avery and Jesse, her, her mom. These are your kids. This is the grandmother of and another grandma. Here's the link, grandma. And 
Marsha. <laughs> Jessica's mom. Uh, these are your families right here. This is what we're doing it for, is these two little precious kids here. So, thank you all so much for this. Special thank you, and I'm gonna let Dale announce this. Well, I wanna thank everybody for coming out for this ride. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day today for us. Uh, no rain in the forecast. Looks like we're gonna have a good crowd. Gonna ride some uh, roads that some of us has never been on before. I've heard some say that they'd never been on some of the roads and they thought they'd been on all the roads in Floyd County, but there's one or two that they said they hadn't been on. But I wanna thank each one of you for coming. This is a good uh, thing that we're doing for these children. Um, God blessed us over the years of this and give him the credit and the glory for this. Diane said she wanted me to say the entrance down here uh, had the uh, sign made up in dad and mother's memory at where they made it possible for us to carry on this tractor ride. And uh, Collins Welding and Fabrication is the one done that for us. They, they built all the frame, cut out the sign and everything. We thank them for it. That, that's a beautiful job down there. I said, Daddy, Mother, would probably be in heaven looking down and smiling at that right there. But I want to thank each one of you. Today is going to be some roads, going to be some some steep hills. We got signs out. Stay careful. Stay back enough, but stay close enough that you can keep under control and just have a good day, a good time. But keep these tractors under control and stay up as close as you can. I want to thank each one of you. Now Larry, we're going to have, uh, and he, he can say what he needs to. We'll have uh, Pledge of Allegiance and the prior and then we'll get started on this. Again, I'd like to welcome all of you this morning. It's turned out to be a beautiful day and the Lord has really blessed us here today. It was a good turnout and I'm glad to see all of you. And uh, if you will now, we'll do the pledges to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we gather here today, Lord, we just ask that you be with each and every one. Keep us safe, watch over us and protect us on the road. Even the people on the road today, Lord, uh, uh, folks that are traveling, watch over them. Let them read the signs and obey them. Lord, we thank you for these kids that we're able to help. And we just ask that you bless each one and each the contribution that's made to each one. And get all the money that we have go as long a distance as it can. Lord, we thank you and we we'll watch over you. And while we're here, Lord, we thank you for the meal that we'll have today at lunch. And just be with us and watch over and protect us. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Anybody else got anything? Let's roll. All right, ladies and gentlemen, start your tractors. <laughs>